it was in the early 80s, I was going through Tulsa, and it was about the same time that Boatwright was killed in Los Angeles. And I felt like I just had to have this guitar, and I traded a beautiful Gibson Birdland for it. Had a couple things on it that had broken, like the pit guard and like the head thing, and so I replaced those to the best of my ability. It's great that you saved this, and you've saved this. Somebody did a really good job redoing the headstock, making it useful and playable. Sammy Mosley and Boatwright were both personal friends of mine. Sammy Mosley played on our softball team in Oklahoma City. Ray Boatwright was a pastor and a minister, and he ministered for me. I'm also a pastor. Mosley and Boatwright, that's where they came up with the name. Mosewright. Well, this is not a standard Mosewright model by any stretch. No, it isn't, and uh, the back is a metal back that's screwed on. I'm gonna turn it around okay. so we can see that. It's a screwed on metal back, and on the inside, you can see where Semi chiseled it out by hand, and he put his signature and the date that he made it. This is a photograph of the inside of the guitar, of the signature of Simi Mosley. It, it's strictly a prototype. This is all hollow. It's, he, he called it the guitar with a built-in soul because it was chambered. It got a, a total different tone. Just He made some very innovative instruments. So I'm going to turn this back around so we can see the face again. The Mosewright Company was in California, yes, if I can recollect, Bakersfield. Semi Mosley worked for Rickenbacker, and he was only, I, I believe, 19 years old. But he built his own guitar in the Rickenbacker factory, and they fired him. He was friends with Ray Boatwright. Ray said, why don't you build your own guitar? He only already had the one. He said, well, I don't have the money. And Boatwright said, well, I do. And they opened up in Boatwright's garage. I've never seen one like it. These guys were building this out in the garage. Yeah. And it could have been a piece of junk, but instead it's a piece of art. It's just yes. beautiful. Trying to put a value on a guitar like this, if you were just going to sell it to a dealer or a Mosewright aficionado, retail $15,000, maybe more. But it's so unique that if it were in a different environment, who knows? And that's why I love seeing yeah. it.